Hello, hi, it's Liz here and today I'm going to be doing Roxy's Weekly Challenge. So this journal is out today because this is where I keep all the challenges and we are at challenge number 19 which is a trifold pocket with a notebook and it's a variation to week 16 which was this week um, which is an a kind of um, envelope within an envelope. It's got a little pocket here and a pocket in the envelope there and then a pocket behind. And um, so it's a kind of folder stroke envelope pocket. But this week's is very similar. It's a variation to that. And um, inside the folder is a little notebook, uh, a few pages to write on. So let's get started. Again, I'm going to use a sheet from my etc book. This is 10 and a smidgen inches long by seven and a quarter inches um, the other way. And that's what I'm going to use for my uh, base folder. I've put a fold at four inches and a fold at what looks like about an inch and a half, I think. Well, an inch and three quarters. But obviously you can do them any size you want. I've picked this size because this is the good size for the journal that I made to keep these challenges in. So you might want to get your journal and think, right, I want to do it smaller or bigger. So for the notebook within the journal, so we're simply going to make a notebook for this section here, this middle section. So you want a second piece of something. I've got another book page. This is a book page from a glossy book. So I'm not all that keen on using it uh, for anything uh, other than things that are sort of going to be semi hidden. And this is going to be hidden in there. <laughs> so we might as well use it as a cover. And I didn't really fold that very straight. There, that will do it. So we want some pages for the inside of our notebook. Let's just set that aside for now. Um, and also I have to decide if I want that on the cover or the colourful cover. I think I've already kind of in my head decided on the colourful colour uh, cover. So we need pages for the middle and I've got a few, not many, I've got one, two, three, four pieces of just plain paper that are slightly smaller than the notebook cover. So we're just going to fold these in half. Now, do I want that on the outside or do I want... These decisions have to be made. I'm going to have the ready colour on the outside. Right, so that's just our simple notebook. And what Rachel did was she stapled the centre. I have tried my stapler. It's here. And you can open it up and then squish it in. But it's not doing it. I don't know what's wrong. But it just was bending the staples and it wasn't um, doing what it should do. So I'm just going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm just going to do hopefully a little running stitch just up the middle there and you could also just do two holes and thread some uh, some twine i've got some twine here you could thread some twine just it's just to keep keep the pages together i don't think it really matters that much when you've only got what four eight pages so it's simply going to sit in there like that and we'll decorate the front and we'll add a little closure. 
But first of all, I'm going to take it to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch around the edge of my folder and I'm going to stitch in the pages of the little booklet. Okay, stitching's been done. We had a minor argument with the machine. <laughs> but all's well that ends well and stitched up in nearly in the middle. <laughs> And that's going to go there and we're going to glue that down in there, leaving one side open for an extra pocket. And I think I might leave this side open. Somehow, I think maybe when you're right handed, the pockets seem to be naturally on this side. So that's what we'll do next. Yes. So I'm just going to use my three and one and we're going to not glue that bit there. No. Not glue that bit there, but don't glue all the whole of the middle either. <laughs> Oh, that's good that it's shiny because that's just coming off. Oh my goodness, I don't know how many times I do this with pockets. So what I should have said to myself, just glue round the three edges <laughs> do not put any glue in the middle now I just want to pull that thread out quite like to see the threads right that's us. Now, have we still got... Yes, that's open. So that's fine, but that'll take a wee while to dry. But in the meantime, we will decorate the front. Now I've got a little nice, whoops, bundle here for things for the front. And I also have a closure arrangement made with a brad. Well, it's not made yet. We'll do that together. So I've got this cute character who is reading a bunch of letters from Royal Mail. <laughs> I think he's reading his fan mail. This um, little post-it note and this little piece of ephemera here, which I thought might be quite nice just to kind of arrange that in this little bit of fabric for texture and that matches some of the fabric that's on the cover of the journal so we're pulling that through that's an old dishcloth still got wee bits of it left and we'll just plonk him in the middle I think somewhere like that so I think that'll do us yep right so we will get this piece here down first. And it was round about there. And then got little bits of thread everywhere. this about here now oh, hold your horses let's put this down just need a little line of it through through the centre Right, and I think it was about there. There we go. 
sort it. It makes that go a bit bumfly, but not to worry. And then this chap, about there. This is from a, a book of poems about dogs. It's quite funny, quite a funny book. Closure. I'm going to use a brad. I've got a little black brad here that will match the black thread and the black there. But I want to put it on. This is a little, I think it's a half inch. Wait, we'll cut one. Well, three anyway. Yes, it's a half inch. No, it's well, it's still slightly bigger than a half inch. Woodware. Right, so we'll need to carefully, minding your fingers, poke a hole in the centre. Or as close to the centre as we can go. Let's put that up there. And then we're going to put our brad through. Maybe. I need a bigger hole. The brad is so small that I can't get a grip of it. Come on. They've opened up. Right, hold them closed. Take your time. Pretend nobody's watching. <laughs> and then open them up. Right. There we are. Phew! And then we're going to stick that onto that second one to hide those little legs. Now, have I done this wrong? Wait a minute till I think. You put... No, I need to put the brad straight through two of them. I need to put the brad through two. I'm just too excited about using that new glue. That's what it is. Right, I need a, I need a, a hole in a second one because you need to wrap your twine round, of course you do. So, oh my goodness, I thought this was quite easy in my head. Right, that's it. Now, now we just do need to wipe that glue off. <laughs> I'm forever wiping glue off. Right, so I don't think we do we need a third one. I think we just stick that straight down. That's what it is. You don't need a third one. That automatically covers the and the twine goes in between. That's it. So we don't need this wee guy. I was thinking you needed to cover the legs, but the second bit when it's glued down it automatically gets covered. That's what happens. Anyway, we got there in the end. 
So glue on this one. And about halfway or even just there. Right. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Right, now we're going to, I don't want to do that just now, so a little bit to wrap around. So say you're starting there and then we want about that much. So let's just see if we can just get the middle one up without taking up the whole Oh no, I should really wait till it dries, but I'm too impatient to show you. And I want to get the video done. <laughs> so that should, now this twine's quite thick. I wonder if I should have chosen a thinner twine. Oh, it's going to go. Maybe moving about right that'll do for now and I'll tidy it up <laughs> I'll tidy it up let's just see if we can get that wee final bit in there just make a wee loop and tuck it under. There. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I made a meal out of that one. There we are. I think maybe it's too long. If we go there and go there, We don't, don't, there's not any room to tuck it in again. We're just going to, how would I do that? Where in there, how would you do it to make it look nice? That's just deep wee end bit. And then there. Yeah. That looks okay. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not happy with the twine. I might just change that. Although I like the red. The red's nice and bright. But anyway, well, maybe if we go round the other way. Ah, that's better. Maybe. Oh, anyway, so let's get it in the journal. And that's a nice notebook. Now, I wonder if I want to stick it in. Or do I want to keep it loose? Because there's a few things loose from this. There's this. The fancy papers, that's loose. And the document holder is loose. But the other matching one of that is stuck in on that page. So we could, we could just use the opposite page and put it there. You know, I think maybe I'm going to change the twine to match that twine. Because that's too thick. Now, what twine was it? The brown? Was it that? Yeah. So let's use this. Because it's much finer than 
the red and it will match that twine for that one which is on with an eyelet but this time we've used a brad oh yes and that goes on much easier see that you can twirl that right round so that you don't see the tail there happy now so and plus that can just go round yeah and it goes round a second time look that's much better and then we can just tuck that in and we'll just cut that bit off and tuck that in there better so I was thinking I was being fancy with the red now do we want to stick it in I think we will I think I will stick it in but I'm not going to stick it in just now because I want to take my picture I want to take my picture for the video and stuff I don't know if I want that in the top there Oh, I'm going to stop fiddling about with it. No, let's leave it. Leave it. <laughs> right, okay then. That's me. Thanks for joining me today. If you've stuck with me, you're you're a braver soul than me. <laughs> and um, yeah, if you've enjoyed the video, a thumbs up would be great. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.